What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another unboxing and review video. In today's video, McFarlane has done it again. We got a Batmobile. Let's open it up, check it out. I'm telling you, McFarlane toys, they just keep on giving. Got great figures, got great detail, we got great paint, we got great vehicles. Wow, this this is cool. This is very, very cool. Um, I'm, I'm really glad I finally got to see this thing in person because, uh, I mean, vehicles. We need vehicles for our figures, you know, Hummers, half tracks, Jeeps, motorcycles. I'm just saying, that's what makes the toys even better is when we have vehicles that we can actually have fun with them. Um, for me as a photographer, it just gives another layer. So uh, yeah, look at this. I mean, and even in the box, this thing looks great. I mean, you almost don't want to take it out of the box, but I'm taking it out of the box. Check out that back right there. And you get, you, you know, this diorama uh, looks really, really cool as well. So, uh, yeah. This is, this is so cool. And I don't even have a, you know, I don't have like any classic uh, Batman figures. I'm not even really truly planning on using this thing as a Batman figure, with Batman or Robin figures. Truth be known. All right, we're gonna get this thing opened up. I am actually trying to be careful because this is a cool box. I don't wanna, I really don't wanna destroy this box because it's actually really, really cool. And I don't know, depending on how difficult it's put in, put in the box, will dictate whether or not I put it back in the box after I'm done with what I want to do with it. All right. Cause I don't know, I like that. I like the back on it. All right, we do have some snippy, uh, snippy snippies right here. So I tell you what, I'm going to finish getting this out of the box and we'll take a closer look at the uh, Batmobile. So I'll be right back. All right, got it out of the box. And man, look at this thing. I mean, and to be honest with you, I mean, I thought about, you know, doing some creative stuff with the camera, but I just, I just want to, I, I just want to have it in my hand. I want to show you guys what this thing actually looks like uh, as I'm holding it. Uh, got the front right there, got some great detail coming around the side. I mean, this is so classic looking. I mean, check it out. Parts of me is already thinking, hey, could I put an LED light right there, like a red LED light? Coming around to the other side, got the undercarriage. I mean, it is it is relatively simple. There's not a tremendous amount going on with it. Inside, we got the steering wheel right there. Um, it's it's just, it's a simple vehicle, but it just looks great. Got the uh, light up here, got the fire extinguisher right there. Oh man, this is just, this is so cool looking. Uh, one of the things that I, I actually admire about this is it's got rubber tires. Like they're legit, you can squeeze them. They're actually rubber tires. I mean, see, that kind of attention to detail is amazing. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's no hoods that open or anything like that. It's just a simple, uh, a simple car, uh, the Batmobile, but I guess it goes to prove that you don't need to be complex to create a really nice vehicle and toy manufacturers, you know, Hasbro, you know, McFarland's doing it, but 
I mean, there's a market here because these things are just, they're great to have. Uh, for me, I'm just, you know, thinking off the wall stuff, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's like I said, it's, it doesn't get no simpler than this. I mean, there's no real detail on the bottom. You know, you got the drive shaft and the axle, but I mean, it's not a complicated mold. Uh, it's really simple. I mean, there's no opening doors. I mean, it's actually, I mean, probably, you know, really, really simple build. And it provides a need. It provides a need for, uh, for us toy collectors to uh, do something else. So, yeah, I just, I think we need more of this. We need something for GI Joes, for all these six inch GI Joes. We've got stuff for three and three quarter with the Warthog and things like that. But, you know, six inch Joes, one vehicle, a Hummer, the Striker, a Jeep. I mean, something, I'm just saying. But um, for me personally, the uh, the Batman and Robin that actually would pair up with this would look really, really cool. Uh, for, for me, I doubt I'll ever get them um, because I didn't buy this for Batman and Robin. I bought it because I wanted to do something else and be a little different. Now, uh, one thing I did uh, do is I've got a couple of figures and after looking at the car, I've come to the conclusion that my original ideal, I don't think will work, but I think I can make it work, but I would have to come in here and modify the car. So, and what I'm talking about is, my original ideal was uh, Stormtroopers. You know, I wanted to do Stormtroopers and the car. So, I went and got a clone trooper and, Let's see, I've done, I've already tried this, but uh, yeah, he's, he's a little, his legs are a little long. Now, scale wise, I think it would still work, but no, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work the way I want it to work. So then I grabbed Deadpool or Trooper Pool and thought, well, let's see how this works. And it's 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 about the same. It just no, it just didn't work. It just didn't work at all. But uh, hey, <laughs> there is a toy out there. There is a toy out there that will work for this car, for what I want to do with it. And I think it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna give you guys a preview of what it looks like because we're gonna, I'm gonna get the figures in the car and I will show you when we be, uh, when we come back. So let me get it going. All right. <laughs> so I've got the Batmobile on the spinny spinny. And as you can see, we got Captain Rex chilling out in the uh, Batmobile. Asuka's coming around. Yeah, they're out for a, uh, you know, joy ride, just having some fun. But uh, <laughs> the toy box figures, the toy box figures actually work really good in this car. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for it. So, off the spinny spinny, we'll put that over there, but check it out. I mean, they work. They work, they work good. So uh, I do have one other uh, toy box figure that I'm going to see if works in this. Um, I don't know, but I am perfectly happy with Captain Rex. Uh, and I mean this, and they, and they go in really, really good. Let me uh, let me show you real quick. the uh, the whole The whole process is not bad at all. So. Let me get the car up here. So yeah, the toy box figures actually work really good. And I think they scale good. They scale good with this uh, with this car. So yeah, look at there. See, Rex even, uh, 
I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. Nothing wrong with this at all. Boom. There you go. Right there. <laughs> Who says you can't have fun with toys? I'm just saying. I mean, you know, you got to have fun with the toys. And I personally am really happy that uh, these these figures actually worked out with the uh, with the car because this is what I was going for right here. I'm just saying, this is what I was going for. Oh, look at this. Is that not cool looking? Look at her. Look at this. It's just wicked cool. It don't get no better than this, you know? We just need more vehicles. That's all I'm saying. We need more vehicles uh, to do and have some fun with, uh, with our toys with. So, yeah. This is... My plan is coming together. So, guys, that's gonna do it for this unboxing. Uh, like I said, it's a simple car. There's a lot. There's not a lot going on to it. The details are very, very simple. It's just the classic Batmobile, and it just proves a point. I think McFarland uh, proves a point that you can make a vehicle. Uh, the price point on this is uh, twenty nine bucks. I think twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, something like that which to me is not bad, not bad at all. So uh, we just need more. We just need more. So what I would like for all of y'all to do is put in the comments, what vehicle do we need to have that we don't have? What would you like to see? I mean, we've got, we've got the Batmobile now. Uh, is it something for G.I. Joe's? Is it something for Marvel, DC, Star Wars? It doesn't matter. Let me know in the comments. I am curious as to what vehicle you would like to see created next and on the market. Um, me personally, it's something for G.I. Joe's. The six inch G.I. Joe's, we need either a, a Hummer or some kind, and, and come on, it don't get no simpler than that. Or a Jeep, the Strike, or something for the six inch figures. And that's the thing I want. We've got stuff for three and three quarter, but we don't have stuff for the larger figures. So, but yeah, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed it, but definitely let me know. Also, if this is your first time to my channel and if you enjoy my content, please hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on. That way you'll know when I drop videos. And one last thing, as we look at the Batmobile, always remember toys refreshes your soul and I'll see you next time.